हेलो 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 अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग खुश आमदीद जी आया नु खुय मोरख बखैर आगले नी हाउ चुनशुम में वश वले ओहायो गुडजाइमर्स गुटन मॉर्गन ओला बोंजोर प्रीवियस कैफा हाल हाल शमा चतोरे अहलन वसालन मरहबा बूना एंड अ वेरी अमेजिंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज ट्यून इनटू पीटी वर्ल्ड एंड अ वाचिंग वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग अलोंगसाइड शिजा हाशमी and Shahzad Khan hello Shiza how are you today i am absolutely great how are you you look uh, fresh you look energetic yeah but uh, which is why that you know i uh, i wasn't able to make it to the show yesterday oh. and i got a lot of fan mail too as well where people asked me why i didn't come so i was out of town and by the time i got back i think i had cold and fever too oh. as well so i want everybody to please look after some Were you on your bike again? no i wasn't on okay. my bike but so this, so the story goes like that i'm i'm sorry but i'm a uh, I've got this bad habit of smoking cigarettes too as well. So on my way back I had to roll down the window because I never wanted my driver hmm. to, to go through passive yeah. smoking. So I think that's that's what affected me as well but other than that ladies and gentlemen please make sure that you don't roam around the house bare feet as well you know wear something warm yeah. and listen to whatever your mother has to say okay that's, that's very important yeah winter is almost there and i think this is actually the right type of weather to wear this summer clothes that uh, khas is given <laughs> wow so so yeah. khas you're doing a wonderful job but Thank i just you. got to know that khas actually makes clothes for men too as well So if you guys are out there you know there's a man in here too as well so probably we can figure out something but that's great thank you very much and you look great too as thank well thank you thank without you without any exaggeration well thank you <laughs> so before we okay actually today this is going to be the most exciting show yes. that i've ever done I with you i was very excited i i know you are i guys. was up at 7 i was up at 7 in the morning cuz i just never wanted to miss this show because wow. whatever we are going to do today ladies and gentlemen it's going to be hilarious Absolutely. it's going to be full of love and it's going to be full of argument too yeah. as well It might sound like a relationship but that's not what it is we'll definitely let you know but first uh let's take a look at the top stories for this hour let's do it good morning Um Prime Minister Imran Khan expresses confidence that Naya Pakistan housing program will bring about significant improvement in economy of the country We hope Indeed. so too And congratulations Pakistan for the first T20 but now Pakistan to play against Australia today in the second 2020 of three match series in Dubai PDB Sports will telecast the match live from 9 pm Pakistan leads the three match series 1-0 and mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours according to met office continental air is prevailing over most parts of the country what is continental air though it's it's <laughs> it's like it is everywhere yeah probably <laughs> yeah. i mean i could figure it out with continental food you know you can get it easily so i think continental air is something which we breathe into So all right these were the top stories and now coming down to what, what we're, we're talking about we're today talking about but today. before that i have something to ask you go ahead so you're married mashallah yeah. happily married and uh, about 5 years back probably right yeah. so how did this happen i mean i i want you to tell us the story was it an arranged marriage was it a love marriage uh, well, well it was a, it was a mixture of both two as well to be honest and uh, so i was hosting shows okay. you know i was on a campaign for a telecommunication company and she was there too as well and she was actually uh appointed to look after me okay. while i was hosting because you know when when we go to different places you know there are people who look after yeah. you water tissue papers and what not so uh, for, i think it was a journey of 22 or 25 shows and we were together and then i felt it she felt it too as well and then you know we started talking and after start I, the very first day when we started talking she gave me this notion that you know there's no uh, i mean i cannot do it like this probably you know things need to be official so right. i was like okay you know we need to sit down probably for 6 months give each other a little bit of time and then probably i can send my parents over and thanks to my parents they never had a problem with that too as well but uh, yeah so we got married and everything's perfect superb this is how it is but that's and that's not how a relationship is no well because because of the fact that you know in a relationship there are ups and downs and yeah. for, especially for a person like me who's who's very notorious at times very naughty at times very outgoing you know there are a lot of problems and i know that i've been uh, on on the road uh, on the wrong side of the road but i think she she managed very well and uh, everything turned out to be great but love marriage i think is a is a difficult thing to handle not everybody can do that it's not everybody's part to handle love marriages because relationships 
are always complicated. There's no way that anybody's going to say that relationships are very easy. So that's how it is. What about you? Uh, I uh, mean, obviously, you plan, to get married. you plan to get married, right? Yeah. So what kind of a man do you look for? Um, you know what? So my parents have been clear since day one that they're never going to impose someone on us because, okay. of course, we have to spend the life with them. So we should be... You, we should at least be given the option to choose that who we yeah. want to be with. So um, I, I don't even have something, I don't even have an ideal in my mind. I just feel like we should click and it should go on. So Okay, so you see that's what her definition is. But once you get married, <laughs> you get to know how things are. So this is what we're talking about today. We've got a newlywed couple over here in the studio as well. And then we have got uh, somebody who's actually a life leadership and relationship coach. Yeah. But before we do the introduction, so what we're going to do is today we're opening up our hotlines. What people all across the globe, what you can do is that you can call us in and let us know whether uh, arranged marriage or love marriage was a good idea for you. And or after all these years, is the spark still mm -hmm. alive? <laughs> well, uh, okay. Uh, I, certainly what happens is that, you know, when, when you are married to as well and such a question bumps up. <laughs> so the thing is that you want to answer that question because you, you already know the feeling. You can. But, uh, okay, we'll talk about that. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we're opening up our hotlines, the telephone number for people outside Pakistan, 0092-5190-6541. And for people within Pakistan, the city code is 051 and the telephone number is 9206541. Call in and let us know if there are any problems which you're facing. You can be anonymous yeah. too as well. And let us know that, you know, these are the problems. We'll try consulting. But other than that, I think what we need to do is that we need to get our conversation started. With yes, the cannot wait. And Absolutely. a life leadership coach too as well. So on my right-hand side, ladies and gentlemen, we have been joined by... Uh, a very good-looking newlywed. Uh, yeah, a very <laughs> good-looking, amazing couple. Very happy. They drove all the way from uh, Atag uh, to Islamabad too as well. We we're very glad. We we're very thankful. Uh, because, you know, at times when you knew, when you just got married, you obviously have to make breakfast for your mother-in-law <laughs> and all of that. You know, you have to get this setting yeah. in, you know, <laughs> game on. So on my right-hand side, ladies and gentlemen, we have been joined by a human rights activist. She's uh, the Secretary General of Peace and Culture Organization. She's none other than Miss Sabine Hussain Malik. Hello, assalamu alaikum, congratulations. Wa alaikum salam, thank you so much. Congratulations on your wedding. Yeah, thank, thank you very much for joining us. Alongside Sabine, ladies and gentlemen, we have been joined by her husband too as well. He hug? himself is a human <laughs> rights activist. He's none other than Mr. Asif Khan. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. And last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, he's a regular on this show. He's a maestro. He does it very well, whatever he does. He's a life leadership and relationship coach. We've got a long list of his introduction, but we're minimizing it. Yeah. He's none other than Dr. <laughs> Khalid Mahmood. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank, thank you very you so much, much for joining us. Thank you, sir. So I think I'm going to get the conversation started with Sabine over here. Or do you want to do the honors? Uh, no, you please go ahead. Okay, so Sabine, first of all, well, what I want to know over here is, was it an arranged marriage or was it a love marriage? It was an arranged marriage. It was an arranged yeah. marriage. But, okay, so first things first, you, you both have to take an oath. Okay, raise your right <laughs> hand. <laughs> because this is, this is what happens on TV shows. You know, people raise do that. Raise your right hand. Right. 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 We are actually looking for you guys a have real to say answer. That. You guys yeah. have to say that. Really? Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever I'm going to say is the absolute truth. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Asif sir, you said that I will say the truth, 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 the truth. Very good. Great. Was it okay. an arranged yeah. marriage or a love marriage? Yes, it was definitely an arranged marriage. It was an arranged yes. marriage. I want to ask Asif sir too. Asif sir, I knew that you were sending a relationship for 5 years and the story was not clear. Why did you send a relationship for 5 years and the story? इनकी कुछ आदतें बहुत पसंद हैं एक तो ये बहुत भादर हैं बहुत स्ट्रॉंग हैं दूसरा ये है कि खानदान वालों के साथ कोई मीटिंग हुई थी उनको भी वालदा वगैरह को सिस्टर को और ब्रदर वगैरह सबको बहुत अच्छा लगा आपको कैसा लगा था ये बात तो ये है तो फिर वालदा ने कहा कि यहाँ शादी करनी है तो म� तो थोड़ा मुश्किल था उन्होंने टाइम मांगा कहते हैं सबर करें फिर भाई से बात करनी पड़ी तो वो भी कोई काफी मुश्किल हो गई थी फिर जो इनके बिनोई हैं उनसे बात करनी पड़ी तो खैर उन्होंने कहा कि मैं खुश हूँ जैसे फैमिली चाहे लेकिन बड़ा टाइम लगा बहुत बहुत चक्कर लगाने पड़े But Miss Sabine, in all this time when he was pursuing you, were you enjoying the process, or were you actually talking to your parents as well that you know what, maybe it's time you should consider? No, actually, to be honest, I was really scared of this marriage thing, you know. 
and um, I think it was really not my parents. I mean, my mother and my sister and my brother hmm. uh, and my brother-in-law. It's it's not really that they were against the, uh, me settling down. Hmm. It's just that they had a really uh, hard time to convince me hmm. to, to say yes down. to uh, to somebody at least, right. you know, right. because I am a very independent-minded uh, person hmm. and. Uh, can be a little moody too, you know. So, so you felt like maybe if you do so settle down, yeah, it will so compromise your independence? Yes, maybe I just had this fear, you know. So I wanted to be with somebody who would be a friend to me hmm. and not uh, uh, a typical husband type, right, you know. Right. Um, but you know, thank you for saying that. So, so he's like quite sweet, so. <laughs> but that's great, that's great, that's so sweet. Now, Dr. Khan. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's the second month, so you know, that's why all the wives are going to say, oh, he's very sweet, he's very charming, <laughs> everything's good. Eventually, I think what we'll do is we can promise you over here that we'll call you back on the show after two years <laughs> if you're still doing the show. Uh. And then we'll see what everybody has to say. Or probably, you know, what will happen is that probably you're not coming or he's not coming. You know, <laughs> one of us can come only. But that's all right. Let's move on to Dr. Khalid too as well. Now, you know, before we are, you ask anything, uh, Ms. Sabine just said that she didn't want a typical husband or whoever falls into that category. Yeah. What is a typical husband? You know, this is typical husband is not a definition. It is uh, actually a belief system okay. of our society hmm. that whatever belief they have been given through their parents, through their uh, sisters, brothers, siblings, you know, society and the friends. Hmm. So when they see somebody, you know, successful, so they make an idea, yeah. right. ideal. Right. So when they see somebody not successful or hmm. failure, so make it a something up, taboo hmm. type of a thing. So every person in our society has got his own belief of typical, hmm. you know, and uh, today I'm very happy, by the way, that somebody has at least thought to talk about relationship. Yeah. You know, this is a, the most ignored topic. Right. And I am definitely a relationship coach. So every day I counsel people hmm. and husband, wives and all that. So this is the topic I say that must be learned. Hmm. You must work on it. The example I would give you, you ask sir, that I will see you after two years. That's a great example. By <laughs> Have you gone to the Murray or somewhere? Yeah. When you are ascending and descending, yeah. hmm. so your car is just, you know, flying <laughs> like that <laughs> without, you know, going into any gear or something. Or right. And there is something written, don't put off your engines. Yeah. Okay. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put on neutral. Downhill, downhill. Yeah, downhill. so what we do actually in our relationship, we put our car in a neutral. Yeah. Okay. Then it's already running. <laughs> but after some time, it's going to stop. So you don't have to put off your engines. It is something you have to work on it. Wow. It's just that we, we, we are so unable to figure <laughs> out what's the engine in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, because I have this very famous saying and, yeah. and they say that, you know, in a relationship, one person is always right and it's not your husband. Yeah, I gave up. <laughs> so that's what they say. So, and I think this is what I want to ask. And we're going to share your pictures too as well from sure. your wedding uh, with your consent, obviously. And you look great. You guys look great too as well. So Asif, sir, what was your promise when you were married for 5 years? जब इस प्रोसेस में थे आप आपकी शादी हो रही थी और आप वो घर पे लेने आए थी कि आ जाए अब आपको फोटो शूट होगा और पांच साल से आप प्रस्तुत कर रहे थे सबील जी को तो आपने कैसा महसूस किया उसको मेरे लिए तो मैं बड़ा बर्क नहीं तेज थी तो बड़ी बात थी वैली वो मैं सोच रहा था कुवाक किया यस कर द Wow. Sabine, so, so what about you? How, how, how were you feeling? Um, I was feeling quite uh, content actually. And uh, in a way, you know, um, how should I say, in a naughty way, conquest. <laughs> Fine. All right, I did this. I made somebody my special admirer for life, wow. you know. So it was, it was a very nice feeling. It was very sweet. Okay, that's good. But now what I'm going to ask is that, you know, what happens is, for example, when the families, you know, they say yes. Yes. So, you know, the, the bride or the bridegroom, what they do is that they obviously have you know, an intention to talk to each other. I'm not going to ask you guys whether for those five years while he was pursuing, you were talking or not. But once, you know, the family said yes, what kind of conversations did you have? I know that you know, there are a lot of cheesy <laughs> conversations, but, you know, whatever you can censor, censor it out and let us know what kind of conversations you guys have. But I also feel like it's important to talk, I mean, it's in today's world. I feel yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. very important because that's the only way you find yeah. out who the other person is. Alright, and at the same time, before Sabine answers, ladies and gentlemen, please call us in if there's any problem you've got in your relationship. Dr. Khalid is actually going to let us know that, you know, what we are supposed to do. As he very rightly said that, you know, the injured must always work. 
So the telephone number is 051-920-6541. Call us in and we'll let you know. You know, we are the relationship gurus <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, so we can go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so what I was asking, so when both oh, the family yeah, said yeah. yes, did you guys talk? No, the thing is, actually, I knew him for a long time, okay. so it was not all that difficult. And uh, like I said, I wanted a friend as a partner, as yeah. a life partner. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very difficult to find someone who would actually accept me the way I am. Mm. Uh, not only like the nice and sweet parts, the other parts of me also. Okay. So somebody who can handle that and uh, who respects my family. And uh, more than love, I think uh, respect is a very important thing. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Uh, what I really like and admire about him is th that he has very good upbringing. He respects women. And um, I've noticed this uh, not uh, recently. I mean, he's always been like this. Hmm. So um, that really uh, made me very happy. And but, you know, for example, it's Eid, it's Chandraj, you know, you call them up, or let me take you out for Mendy before marriage, you know, all of that. He's kind <coughs> of boring in that, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. A bit too, um, uh, how should I say, he's, he's too good, goody two shoes, you know, right? well. two gentlemen. Okay. I, I'm a little. Uh, so the exciting ideas of tour will be planning to go out. Yes, and I'm the excitement, and okay. he's the <laughs> sober type. I, think so that's I plan everything. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's how relationships work too as well. But Dr. Khalid, what I want to ask is, I, I think this is one of those statements which I've heard so many times that I wanted a friend in my husband, and unfortunately, you know, that friend is long gone after like six months <laughs> or a year times two as well. So, so that's so the fault of the husband. So how do you? Part. Okay, wait, you know, we're not actually. Uh, comparing whose fault okay. it is, but yeah, how yeah, can yeah. husband and wife be friends? That's it. Yeah. Uh, you talked about this <laughs> in my previous Sorry. question. What is the engine in between? Yeah. Engine is your communication. Okay. okay. The first thing in our relationship, what we stop doing is that mm. we stop communicating with each other with right. the yeah. passage of time. Right. Second thing is, my every answer would relate to your answer uh, question. Sure, okay, sure. you just you can relate it. The thing happens that after initial one or two years. The, your, your car game, the mm. metaphor is a car that okay. is running. Okay. It's already in inertia and it's, it's, it's just got its own speed. And you think that it is go on like that. So one out of them or both of them, they start taking each other, taken for granted. Mm. That since I've told him that I love him, so it's okay. Yeah. Mm. Since he knows or she knows that I love him. She right. knows me very well, so why to need why, why, what is the need to mm -hmm. say it again and again? Yeah. But human brain is a you know different Needs machine. It works on a right. different way. So <laughs> it's just the woman's brain, I guess. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Did you say yeah. women's brain? Oh, I, I, I said women's brain. Right. I I'm very sorry no, to I'm interject, but you know, I'm very particular about that. But Mustan Sir Tariq Sahib is online with us from Islamabad. Hello, sir. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Waalaikum salam. Good morning to you as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Let me ask you: Are you married? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, that was a short <laughs> question. So, so what kind of a relationship are you having? Are you having problems in your relationship or you're having a great relationship? And how long have you been married for? Uh, uh, basically, I want to have my introduction first of all. My name is Muhammad Mustan Sarkari. I'm a retired principal from Government College of Technology. And uh, I had been married 36 years before. Alhamdulillah, I have got a very successful life. Basically, I should have to say, uh, first of all, I should have to be thankful to you that I'm uh, watching this live program and I'm enjoying very much the topic you have selected. So, sir, I'm going to tell you what you have to do for the life of your life. Yes, basically, I was telling you that I had been married 36 years before. I have a very successful life. I have got four kids. Basically, I should have to mention that uh, two thousand, they got married to a new relationship. They are entirely different to each other. First of all, the boy that is from other home, he had been given a brought up by his own parents. Exactly. Then the girl, she had been from another home. She had been brought up from another patron. So it is, it is the matter that both should have to give tolerance and patience to each other. This is the key of successful married life. But sir, this is the key, but nobody happens to have the key too. So, so, so what do we do? I think uh, it's our job to be quiet then. You know, that's it. Basically, if you want to lead a happy life, yeah. obviously, you should have to be patient. Okay. And, uh, and uh, uh, one, uh, being a husband, 
I think the major liability lies upon the husband because the lady, the girl who comes from another house, she has a different patron, and she, uh, the um, uh, husband and his family, they have to adopt her with patience. And I should have to say uh, that husband should have to be uh, sometimes kind and sometimes blind. Yeah. Blind in the sense. Thank you very much. कुछ बातें ऐसी होती हैं कि जो इंसान देखता है लेकिन लाजमी नहीं होता कि तमाम बातों का इजहार किया जाए और इससे अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेवलप होती है अगर कोई मिस्टेक छोटी मोटी होती है तो उसको भी इग्नोर कर देना चाहिए अच्छा सर वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन डू यू थिंक दैट आफ्टर 26 इयर्स ऑफ मैरिज देयर आर स्टिल सम और अ फ्यू वर्ड्स और अ